everyone thinks I like I study Tom Hanks. Like, I I like sit at home like my eyes like like wide open watching Tom Hanks on loop. I was writing up an article and I thought of this joke and it's like oh well Banksy and then Tom Hanks and I love Tom Hanks and Banksy let's put them together and it's like Hanksy that's really funny. Oh it'd be even funnier on the wall uh, if I put it on the wall you know and then I, and that was it. I did it on the corner in Olita in Mulberry and Kenmare and that was it and I woke up the next day and someone had taken a picture and sent it to this pretty popular street art site at the time, Wooster Collective. Um, and then it just took off. And, uh, you know, I remember waking up in the morning and I did like a Google, a Google search and it was like, boom, like 100 results. My, my level of humor is on par with the majority of the internet, which is like, it's pretty immature, you know? And I love the stupid humor and the wordplay and the lowbrow shit. So I knew if I liked it, they would probably like it. And then the internet took it and ran with it. And then I was like, shit, I better take it and run with it too. And over the next six to seven, eight months, I would put up a piece every couple weeks, all Banksy and Tom Hanks related. Every piece I put up, we get more and more press. And it was like, no one knew who was doing it. No one knew, no one like, who's this mysterious uh, Hanksy guy? Like, People would be like, either there'd be the reaction was twofold. One was like, they love it because I'm taking the piss out of Banksy. And the other half would be like, well, fuck you, Hanksy, for ripping off Banksy. I'm like, yeah, I am ripping him off. Like, yeah. I changed one letter in his name and I used, for the first six and seven months, I used all his iconic images and I just put Tom Hanks' face on it. If I was a huge Banksy fan, I would be fucking pissed off too. <laughs> but whatever. I mean, hey, I, it's like, I did it, and then after about seven, uh, six, seven months, someone approached me randomly at a bar in Lower Side, and they're like, "Are you Hanksy?" I'm like, "I was like, no, but I know who he is." <laughs> you know, of course it was me, but and then it, worked, it was, turns out it was a it was a curator at a gallery, and they wanted to do a like a, a quick pop up show, and I was like, "Fuck it, let's do it." That two night show ended up turning into like a three week a three week show, and I sold it out. The decision to drop out of law school was based upon like an experience that happened in my in my late teens. I, uh, you know, I had lost a younger brother. And, uh, he's my best friend. I was 19, he was 16, and uh, and ever since that day, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna do whatever I do as long as I'm happy, and it's like as long as I'm doing something creative. And that's where I was gonna go, and that's and that's the path I was like. And then I kind of faltered a little bit. And I'm like, you know, I was playing in bands, I was like writing a lot, I was playing music, and and I was just drinking a lot, and uh, then I'm like, all right, I have to get my act together. And uh, so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go to law school, because that, 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 that will validate my existence, you know? But then I, I, I got into law school, and I was like, this is, no, what am I doing? I don't want to be a lawyer, I don't want, I hate the law. Like, I love academia, and I love going to school, and I would love to have that diploma in my back pocket. But like, this is, I don't want to be a fucking lawyer. Are you kidding me? And like, the minute I dropped out, I was like, all right, weight off my shoulders, and I'm just like, never looked back, you know? I'm very aware of what I do and my appeal and how people react to it. I'm very aware of that. I honestly tell you, three years ago when I started this, when I moved to New York, I started it two weeks after I moved here, I would have never thought I'd be where I am today. And it is not lost on me one bit. So in two years, in five years, in 10 years, I'll probably say the exact same thing. And if I don't, if I don't say that, if I'm fucking sitting on my pun fucking pedestal, the king of the the pun kingdom, empire of the pun. And I'm like, fuck you all, the joke's on you. I want someone to come and smack him inside the head. Cause nah, the joke's, the joke's not on you, man. I, I appreciate it, I, it's not lost on you one bit. All my costumes are really fancy and yeah. I try and be um, really, really sexy.